Welcome back again. This is Fox. As you can tell from the title, we are starting a brand new satisfactory playthrough. Now, I'm going to do this playthrough the way I do my playthroughs. Some people may not like it, but this is what I do. I've done it all vanilla. I've unlocked everything, done all of the um, elevator, send all the parts through the elevator. I've done everything all vanilla before. I've searched all the hard drives on my own. I do not want to be doing that this time around. I am going to load a brand new save. I've literally just dropped down. Um, I did all the basic um, hub upgrades. And I'm going to load that save into the satisfactory calculator. I'm going to unlock all alternate recipes. I'm going to unlock everything so it's all free. We've got access to all the building parts. Uh, and yeah, and then we're going to talk about what the plan for this save is. Uh, we're going to have a look at a nuclear spreadsheet that somebody sent me. We're going to do a max nuke build. So yeah, to start with, I'm going to show you what I do inside the Satisfactory Calculator. So this is it, it's satisfactorycalculator.com. I'm sure you're all aware of it. If you haven't, this is it. You can upload your save to it, and then you can modify the file, save it, reload back into it with things unlocked. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open my save game. They are in C, Users, Fox, App Data, Local. Factory game, saved, save games, this number here, and I simply saved it as U5, this is the one. So we're going to open this inside the calculator. All that's there is the hub and the space elevator, as I say, I just did the basic hub upgrades, got to here. I was toying with the idea of doing a full vanilla playthrough, but it's just not, just not me, I don't have enough time... I won't get enough done. I want to show you, boy. I want to show you a lot. My, my channel is, as you may well aware, my channel is aimed at people with a higher skill set than usual or hopefully teach you stuff that you don't already know. My Anno, Anno playthroughs are the same. I go for crazy stupid, goal, stupid goals. If people want to watch people doing the earlier stuff, there's plenty of content out there. There's plenty of streamers that play vanilla. But for me, I just want to build crazy stuff. So we're going to unlock everything. So we've loaded my save into here. You can then modify the save in the options. We can go to map options. First thing we're going to do, we're going to unlock building efficiency. We're going to unlock overclocking, which means we will be able to unlock. We will be able to overclock from the go. We're going to unlock the map. We're going to reveal the whole map, and I'm going to turn on creative mode. As I say, some people might not be happy with this, but I. I do not want to be spending half of my time running back and forward from bins, collecting materials just so I can build stuff. So creative mode, again, you may not be happy with it, so I'm going to tell you from the go, I am going to be using a creative mode. I'm not going to be wasting time building the low -tier, lower tier stuff, building a storage room to collect the stuff. I just want to be able to get on with it and just build some mad stuff. So that's all I need to unlock from this section. So again, we've unlocked the building efficiency where you can check the efficiency. We've unlocked overclocking. We've unlock the map and we have revealed all map also we are turned on creative mode uh, no power no fuel obviously we want to be doing that we want to be creating the power session name is u5 we'll change this to u5 new and once we've done that we want to go into the research tree we want to unlock everything so tier 0 as i say i've done this already tier 1 we're going to unlock it all tier 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have unlocked all tiers. That means we've got access to every single item in the game. Don't have to worry about it. We are then going to go and unlock all alternate recipes. It means we don't have to go searching for hard drives. We can just get straight on with building stuff. We have access to all of the alternate recipes available in the game from the, from the word go. We're going to unlock everything in the MAM tree. So yeah, that's going to give us uh, inflated pocket dimension, medical inhalers, where you can see object scanner, tool belt, rebar gun, crevices, criterium tree. This unlocks things like smart splitters, other items, geothermal generators, holiday event. I don't want to deal with that. Mycelia will unlock that. Nutrients, unlock all that. Power slugs, quartz. Sulfur. So everything in the MAM is now unlocked. It means we don't have to waste hundreds of hours. Well, 
dozens of hours researching all that crap. Awesome sink. We're going to unlock all of the items. All of the attachments. Everything from customizer. I really don't know how this works. We're going to be bungling our way through that. Uh, unlock all the foundations. Everything in the organization section. Special section. I won't be using any of that. Vehicles and new walls. This is what I'm looking forward to getting used to. The tilted walls, the roofing sections, all of the new stuff that came in U5, I'm really looking forward to getting to grips with. So we've unlocked all of that. There's nothing in the special section. So the MAM is done. Just check it. We unlocked everything in the MAM. Alternate recipes we did. Schematics tier 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one all locked. We unlocked all of the parts in the awesome sink. Now all we need to do is download the save game. We need to bring up our save file folder. So first of all, we're gonna to go to downloads. My computer's decided it doesn't wanna work. So this is the save file. We're gonna right click cut. We're then going to go into C users Fox app data local factory game saved save games. This number right click paste. That means that modified file is now in here. It will be cut. It's at the bottom lit U5 new calculator. Now all we have to do is load satisfactory, load into that game. We should have have access to everything if it has worked right. Pretty sure it has. So I've just turned all of my settings back up to Ultra. Uh, in my last save, obviously, I had to dial a few things down because the save was getting pretty big. So load U5 new calculator. Load game. I'll quickly show you what mods I've got going as well. Um, not many, to be fair. Let's just check, see if we've got access to everything. So we've got access to all of the Mark III stuff. Everything in the logistics section. All of the new stuff, all the signs. Transportation. Foundations. Walls. Architecture. It's all here. If we go to the hub. Everything should be unlocked. I'm not saying these are, but they are. Complete phase two. It's asking me to complete a phase of this. Well, we won't worry about that. So, yeah, we should have access to everything. Just going to turn the music down a bit. This is a new music track I've never heard before. music off altogether I'm sure it might come back in but yes that should be it um so I was going to show you which mods I use I'll bring the mod manager up I don't use many I use pack utility nuclear waste cheat will become apparent because I'm going to be building a billion nuclear nuclear reactors. I am going to be doing zero waste, but we want to stress test it before we get to the zero waste section, so we don't want the nuclear clogging up and ruin our game. So permaday, pack utility. This gives me the ability to fly and also spawn items in, like um, power shards and stuff, when we need them. Permaday to keep it day all the time. Apart from that, we are good to go. We have a brand new world. M is no longer working for the map, so I need to check what hotkey that is. Key bindings. I thought map was M. Open map, thumb mouse button two. Okay.
So we've got the whole map. So what I want this save. I'm going to try and record as, as much of it live as I can. So in hour or hour and a half sections, somebody can tell me how to turn this event crap off. That would be good. I'm going to try and record it in hour to hour and a half chunks. Show you as much as I can of the whole playthrough. Now, I've been speaking to somebody on my Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, come over there and join there. We have good discussions on both the games that I play readily, which are obviously Anno and Satisfactory. One of the members, Swoosh, has already done this Max Nuke thing. I was quite far away through it. I don't think he's dealt with the waste yet, but he sent me um, a satisfactory tools guide so we can see how he did it. We're going to follow it. This is maxing out all of the uranium on the map to produce the most fuel rods possible. You can get 50.4 uranium fuel rods maximum with the uranium on the map. Now, when it comes to processing the uranium into plutonium, there are a couple of recipes. One of them uses more uranium, the other one doesn't. So we're obviously going to be using the one that doesn't use uranium, so we can use all of the initial uranium to make the amount of fuel rods. That's the plan anyway. So let's have a look into this. What have we got? Pure Caterium. Let's start with the Caterium. So the Caterium, mix with water to make pure Caterium ingers. Let's use quick wire. This is being used to make AR limiters, fused uranium cells, quick wire status. Quick wire status is not a recipe that I normally use, to be fair. I may swap that out, but copper is being mixed with the pure Caterium ingots to make the fused quick wire. It is also making steamed copper sheets. We're then using quartz to make pure quartz crystal and silica. 2100 uranium is the maximum on the map. It's making the uranium cells along with sulfur, fused quick wire, silica and uranium. Heavy oil residue. This is being, to make, being used to make residual rubber. Crude oil is making polymer resin. Pet coke. Coke steel ingots. If you watch my last pro through, you know I love that. We are used to that on a big, big scale. We only need 718 for this, so it's not a bug, not a big problem. We only need 425 oil. So when we're thinking about where we want to do this production, we don't need that much oil. Although I will look into the plutonium processing as well. Because that's going to need a fair bit more oil, along with bauxite and other things. Steel beams are then used for the crystal beacons. Crystal oscillators are pretty straightforward. The insulated ones use only rubber and AR limiters, along with quartz crystal. Alternate uranium fuel units, which eventually will become the uranium fuel rods. So the raw materials we, we need is one pure node of iron. Two pure or, or a pure and a normal crude oil, two pure quartz, all of the uranium, shed ton of water, four pure copper, maybe, three pure caterium. So, not an awful lot of stuff, to be honest, to make these uranium fuel units. How much power does this need in total? So, it needs 26,239 megawatts just to power the full rod production to get the nukes up and running so we need at least that if we want the whole production chain running at once first thing we need to do is create a power plant i did this on my last save a power plant capable of producing 26,239 megawatts we're going to be running turbo fuel so, that is the next thing for us to do. That's the first thing for us to do, is um, build a turbo fuel power plant. Capable of 
running that. Now, we are also going to need some power to kickstart the turbo fuel production. So, let me jot that number down. What is it? 26,000. Let's say we want 30,000, just to be sure. Megawatts running turbo fuel. So, let's load up a satisfactory... Satisfactory calculator on a new one. Calculator. Right, choose an item. Can we not choose a building in this? I'm not sure if we do. That's uranium fuel world factory. This is the new one. Let's have a look. How much power? Satisfactory calculator. Satisfactory wiki. I'm just going to work out how much power one fuel gen can make running turbo fuel and how much it needs. So we're going to go into the fandom satisfactory wiki. Fuel generator. So fuel generator. Turbo fuel. If we have it at clock speed. It burns turbo fuel at a rate of 4.5 M3 a minute. 4.5 M3 a minute. Two thousand megajoules M3. Turbo fuel is being used. The number of fuel generated required is turbo fuel production rate divided by 4.5. The fluid has to be spread across multiple part plants as flows. Total flow rate divided by three mountain parts. Yeah, we get that. And I suppose we could overclock them. Single crawl node. Two thousand Gross output five thousand megawatts. Alternate dilute package fuel, heavy oil residue, 20 gigawatt. So one, fuel production can be greatly expanded when making use of alt dilute package fuel, even more when combined with halt heavy haul residue. So yeah, we'll be using both of those, alt dilute package fuel. Uh, we don't need to do this anymore because of the new blender. Is this updated for update five? Yeah, it must be. You don't need to do that anymore because you can do it inside a blender. You mix the water inside the blender. You don't need to package the fuel or unpackage it or anything. It's awesome. So this is telling me if we use the diluted fuel or the blender recipe and the heavy oil residue, this means we can make 20 gigawatts with one pure node overclocked to 6300. Pure runs at 240 overclocked M3. I mean, this is going to be going at some point. I would like to not use full 600 pipes if possible because they just do not work. So if 600 does 20, it 
600 does 20 megawatt. What would 450 do? It'd be a quarter of that, so it'd be 15. So if we could do two pure nodes, overclock to 450 M3, that means... The pipes don't fall, so we ain't going to have to deal with any of the issues that you get when using full 600 pipes. And that means we'll be making 30 gigawatts. So we need two pure nodes of oil overclocked to 450 M3. That will enable us to make 30 gigawatts. And how much fuel will that use? So it makes 1,600... So it'll be 2,000 fuel, 400 turbo fuel. Is that right? Let's have a look at turbo. It's just turbo fuel. Let's get back to the search section where we can search turbo fuel. Doesn't seem to be very responsive. Turbo fuel. This is the one we want. Turbo blend fuel. So it uses fuel, heavy door residue, petroleum coke and sulfur. It produces 45 turbo fuel a minute. Turbo heavy fuel, it's probably a lot easier. We use the turbo blend fuel because it's gonna get the most out of it. So turbo blend fuel. Produces one blender. That's stock. Produces 45 a minute. And if that's divided by, they run at a rate of 4.5 to the generators, was it? Burn turbo fuel at a rate of 4.5 a minute. That means you can run 10 gens from one blender. If that's correct. Fuel generator. Turbo fuel. Yeah, it burns 4.5 M3 a minute at 100%. So 10 gens to one blender, making 45 tons a minute. Let's check that. So let's bring in a blender. Diluted fuel. Why haven't I got the alternate? Oh, here we go. Yeah, produces 45 a minute. Okay, so one blender can do 10 fuel gens. Well, that's easy maths. So, where's the power? Where's the power production for turbo fuel? Turbo fuel. So 
So one M3 of heavy oil residue creates one M3 of turbo fuel. 2,000 megajoules. So 45, because <clears throat> we'll be producing, one of these will be producing 45 times 2. That's not right. To generate 2,000 megawatts of power, 60 M3 min of turbo fuel is needed. That's this recipe. It's the turbo blend fuel we want to be looking at. This one. Blend fuel. Uses less energy as well. Fuel is assumed to be produced by a dilated fuel alternative. I'm sure there's a recipe where we didn't even have to make the fuel. Oh yeah, it's this one. You don't have to package your fuel yet, so we do it in there. That's right. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll find a location. I'm still a bit unsure of to how much they consume from this. It's very unclear. I know they consume. I know what they consume, but I can't really understand how much they're going to produce. From the fuel gens. Fuel generator. Two thousand megajoules per M three. Two thousand megajoules per M three is what it produces. Let's get a fuel gen. Any way we can do it is by testing it, really. So let's cheat a bit. Let's bring in the storage container. Let's spawn us in some packaged turbo. Oh, to give, give packaged turbo fuel. A thousand. No item with packaged turbo fuel. You're right. One word. Give packaged turbo fuel a thousand. We drop this in here. We then put a packager or an unpackager, whatever you want to call them. The 
logistics mark five. Let's take on the phone. We are going to need power to run this, so. Biomass burner. Give solid bio fuel a hundred. Put that in. Produces ten megawatts. Unpackaged turbo fuel. This is all for science, of course. And then we'll see how much this bad boy produces. No connection. That only produces 150 megawatt. Nah, no right. Guessing it is. Let's compare it to. Do we have to believe the system? Unpackaged fuel. So we're saying one of them un at standard does 150. It's not liking it, is it? I'm going to have to delete the pipe. Gonna be seventy five. Oh, they all burn at the same, they all produce the same amount, it's just the burn rate. That makes sense. Okay. I'm learning here. Eh? It's been a long time since I did this. We're learning again. <laughs> Unpackaged turbo fuel. Yeah, so 150. Right, that's easy to work out then. 30,000. Let's say we're going to overclock these to 200%. Then that means 
one blender should feed 20. Fifty per cent. That's gone up to nine eleven. That doesn't make sense when it's four point five it's stuck. So to double that Two forty-six. So we have a clock them to two hundred and forty-six percent. That means they're using nine turbo fuel a minute, they're producing us three, just under three hundred megawatts each one. So thirty thousand divided by three hundred, which means we need a hundred, hundred fuel gens. Now we're getting somewhere. A hundred fuel gens. Consuming nine a minute is nine hundred turbo fuel. Okay, nine hundred turbo fuel. We need nine hundred turbo fuel. Okay, simple. It's always best to test this kind of stuff. If you don't make any sense of the bloody calculator. Let's get rid of some stuff. So, 900 turbo fuel a minute. Let's bring up the calculator again. The greeny dev one. Turbo fuel. Turbo fuel. Recipes. The alternate blend fuel, or whatever it was called. Let's click all alts. See what it brings up for us. One blender. Ten a minute. Ten turbo fuel a minute. We need 900. Is that right? Yeah, because we wanted 30,000, didn't we? Nine hundred turbo fuel a minute. Twenty blenders. Each blender can do five, which is what we said. <clears throat> because it produces forty five a minute. I'm using nine. Forty five divided by nine. It's five. Twenty blenders. Each blender can do five. 450 sulfur. That's it. Petroleum coke we're making from heavy oil residue as well. So how much power does this consume? So this... This needs 2,500 to run. So 
We said 3,000. We need to create a coal plant. <clears throat> Making 3,000 power. We're going to bolster it just to get it kick-started. Obviously, like you see me do, we'll just spawn in a... We'll just spawn in a biofuel thing. So, yeah. This is the plan. Can coal power plants run off? Yeah, I mean, let's bring up the map. Let's bring up satisfactory calculator interactive map and then we'll plan where we want to do this. Interactive map. So we needed sulfur oil. Sulfur and oil, weren't it? And now we need some coal for the coal gens to get this going. Is that what we needed? Fuel. That comes directly from water and oil. Heavy oil, residual sulfur and petroleum coke is made from oil as well. So we literally need a sulfur. How much sulfur was it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Wasn't much, was it? 450. So we need a medium. Uh, normal node of sulfur, maxed out. Two pure crude oil nodes, divided by two. So six, seven, five, divide two, three, three, seven, five. So. Yeah, so we need two oil nodes, one sulfur node, and some coal. We're going to have a quick look into how much coal a coal gem burns. <clears throat> Production power. Give coal it's a four second burn time is that right fifteen coal a minute and this produces no idea. I can't be asked to set it all back up again. We'll have a look at the satisfactory wiki. This should be a li little more easy to understand just with a coal gen. Coal generator. We needed 3,000, so one pure node. Twelve war extractors, 1,400 war room in, 32 coal gens. That's 480 coal a minute. So one pure node of coal should do it. Compacted coal we're not going to bother with. Petroleum coke, we're going to be making that later on, but we just want to get the coal up and running for now, so. Well, we will test it quick. While we're in the testing... While we're in the testing phase, we might as well do it properly. Just so we know what's going on. That means we're going to need a packager again. We're going to need a storage container for the coal. I much prefer to uh, 
test stuff like this myself then. And trust in some. I just prefer to t to do it myself. <laughs> so we're gonna need a extractor. There's no water around here, is there? Yeah, there is. We'll quickly run a water extractor from here. We'll give it its own uh, production water extractor. We'll give it its own biomass burner just for the testing sakes. What do you want, mister? Gotta wait now. For the water. No power. Of course it is. Why is that not producing any power? How's the water getting on? It's coming. Don't need a pump. I haven't even come up any. There we go. Right, they produce seventy five megawatts. We need 15 coal a minute. If we max these. It's going to be 246% again. What a strange way of doing things. 246%. 246% coal gem. Struggling. 
Once the pipe's full, it should work. Without any drops in power. So just shy of 150. I want 3,000. 20. 20 coal gens. Use 30 a minute. 600 coal. So a normal coal node. 1 times normal coal. How much water is it using? 90 M3 a minute. 90 times 20. It's 1800 water. Again, we're going to avoid the 600 pipes. 6, 300 pipes of water. Excellent. We have a plan. So. First thing we need to do is build 20 coal gens <clears throat> to produce us 3,000 megawatts of power. We're going to use that to create 900 turbo fuel a minute, which in turn will allow us to have 100 turbo fuel gens, making us 30,000 megawatts, and that will be enough to, for us to start the fuel rod production. So we need sulfur, oil, and coal. That's it. So let's get the map back up again. We're going to work out where we're going to do all this. Keep closing this down like a monk. So, resource nodes. We would like a normal coal node. Possibly a pure. Six hundred sulfur we needed. So a normal sulfur. Two pure crude oil nodes. Coal. Sulfur. Sulfur coal. Coal sulfur. Coal, sulfur, oil. Cold. That's a normal. We only need a 450 sulfur so we can get that from a normal node. Okay, so we need one normal node, two medium nodes of crude oil or a pure and a. So two medium nodes of crude, two medium. Crude. One times normal sulfur. And a normal coal. So normal coal, normal sulfur, two medium crude. Two medium crude, normal coal, and normal sulfur. So this is where we're going to make it. Where is that? It's in the lagoony sort of area, isn't it? All the way down here. So we need to go southwest.
Am I blind? 65 meters. Yeah. That's the normal coal. Drop a beacon down. Normal coal. This is the new northern forest, and there's the sulfur there. Was oh, that limestone? That's limestone, I believe. There's the sulfur. Sofa. It's a bad thing. Just gonna show you. Right, where's the oil? That's a normal. Why don't they glow up anymore like they used to? Used to get like symbols radiating out of them. Oh well, that's a normal. That's a pure, so we can just use these two. Alright, we need... We need a rifle. Some rifle cartridges to do away with these spitters. We need medical inhaler. Medical inhaler. Huh? Looks not different. All right, why does my FPS keep taking a massive dump when I've got nothing going on?
This is where we're building it then. So we've got normal sulfur that way. Coal just up on the hill, and then the oil is here, and we've got all the water we could ever need. So, what if we could build something around this? What if we could uh, build some cool air coming off this? Can't kill these, can you? Or can you blow them up? I can't remember. Yes. So this has got everything we need. So we could build the build the fuel gens here as well, couldn't we? We could build the coal we could build the coal gens up here on the cliff edge. Pipe the pipe the water up here. Build the coal gens up here. It's only twenty. Could build some cool structure up here. Fuel gens. We can build in this here. Design some crazy cool funky shape for that as well. Then we will have all the power we need to make the uranium fuel rods. And then we'll have to just transfer the power to wherever, wherever we decide to make the uranium fuel rods. I'm pretty much going to make it on the northern coast just because it gives us so much space, so much freedom to build whatever we like or whenever we like. But for, yeah, now it's going to be the first episode. A lot of me just testing, really, preparing the save, working things out. 20 coal gens here. 100 fuel gens here. A presto, enough power to make all of the uranium fuel rods we need to make a gajillion nuclear power plants. And then we're going to totally irradiate one quarter of the map. <laughs> and then try and work out what we want to do with the rest of the save. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. As I said before, please subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord. I will be moving soon. I know I keep saying it, but as soon as I move, I'll start streaming. You can watch me uh, do this thing in real time. But yeah, for now, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.